what the dog doing? No, 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 I can't do that. Um, alright, hey everyone, I'm Salty here today. And, um, I'm sorry I haven't been uploading a lot recently. I've been, uh, I've been hella busy with college and doing all sorts of other shit with my life. And it's just been like a, a, a wreck. And my, my PlayStation broke, it overheated. So I can't even, like, you know, play a video game for five, six minutes, make it an upload, and just make, like, a quick little video. Like, yeah, I, I've really been, like, out of the loop, just busy with life recently, but <clears throat> I didn't come here to talk about any of that. What I came here to talk about was, um, the death of a very important mangaka, a very influential mangaka. A very underrated one too. The um the creator of Golgo thirteen, um I'm sorry if I mispronounced this Tekal Saito Saito um has passed he we found out he passed away a few days ago, um at the age of eighty four and it really sucks, man, like if you don't know what GoGo13 is, I'm just gonna say it's literally like, it, it's literally like one of the fucking coolest manga series ever made. Like, imagine Lupin the Third, but ten times fucking cooler. That's basically what GoGo13 is, and it's extremely influential in the East, the, um... The amount of tropes, the amount of, um, fucking references, the amount of, just the amount of stuff that this anime series, not animes, manga series with anime adaptations, the amount of things that this series is responsible for is just ridiculous, man, like, like, if it wasn't for GoGo13, violence in manga wouldn't be anywhere near as badass as it is, right? It, it wouldn't be, like, anywhere near as cool as, um, you, you think it is. Like, um, like, shows like fucking Cowboy Bebop, Trigun, Space Advent, no, I don't know about that one, but shows like fucking, just like, City Hunter, like, all those shows, they would, they would probably exist, but they wouldn't be anywhere near as fucking cool as they are if GoGo13 didn't, like, popularize manga with adult audiences, because, like, I wouldn't say it's the first, because, you know, you had, like, Ashita no Joe and Devil Man, that left like an influence on some of Japan's more mature audiences, but like Gogo 13 was a whole different fucking type of sh type of manga. Like there was not a manga like Gogo 13 before Gogo 13. This manga is so badass. Um you see this guy here? I forgot his name because it's been like so long since I've uh Watch the series. This guy, Duke. Yeah, he, he's like one of the most badass, cool anime characters in fucking history, really. Like, he, he's just so badass, dude. So, like, the premise is that he's an assassin. And no matter who you are, no matter how important you are, how you try and fight back, how you, whatever you do, he will get you. And when he kills you, it's gonna be the coolest shit ever, dude. Like, yeah, Duke Tago is one of the most fucking badass anime characters in history, dude. He has this um theme called Hell to... This is a really good video, by the way. I'd watch it. But um, his theme, I think his team theme is like Tell the Nose. And it's, it's literally like my second favorite main character theme ever aside from like Ichigo's theme from Bleach that would have to be my first 
But yeah, his theme, Tell the Nose, it's, it's fucking great, dude. The the entire GoGo 13 soundtrack is fucking great. It's so jazzy, it's so nuanced, there, there's really nothing like, like it. And it's just sad that, um, yet another mangaka has died, because, um, um, Takao Saito didn't get to finish his series. It's kind of like a Kentaro Miura situation, where he just loved his series so much that he had no idea how he was going to end it, and he unfortunately ended up passing away before he had a chance to end it. And that just, that, that really hits home, man, because, you know, Kentaro Miura passed away, like, a few months ago. That, that was a really, really hard pill to swallow, um, um, Berserk is literally, like, one of my favorite manga of all time, one, not even manga, not even, like, Berserk is literally, like, one of my all-time favorite franchises in, like, existence. Like, it's genuinely one of the best things that I have ever seen in my entire life. And just seeing, and I I know how much Miura cared about it. I know how much he loved it. And for him to just pass away without being able to truly finish his story was just, it was a really hard pill to swallow for me. I actually cried for a couple of days. It was just, it was just, it just sucked. But, you know, I'm not going to hold, like, a negative outlook on it. I hope he's resting in a better place. I hope I hope Takao Saito's resting in a better place as well. I'm not going to be sad, like, oh, man, the, the, now, the, now the mug is never going to end. Like, nah, dude, these people live their lives doing what they love. They, they deserve to rest. They deserve to rest in peace. You know, a manga's just a book. You can always make another one. But these people's lives and the amount of things that they're responsible for can never be replaced. And, um, yeah, it's just, um, it just, it really hits home. Because before Miura's death, like a few years ago, I think it was one or two years ago, Monkey Punch, the creator of um, Lupin the Third, passed away, and that's also one of that's like one of my favorite anime ever. And um, yeah, he passed away. That was a hard pill to swallow. Then we had Miura, and now it's the creator of GoGo, and it's just it's just a really sad time to be like a like a manime fan. I really hate saying that word. It, it sounds kind of stupid. But if you don't know what, like, manime is, it's, like, the subgenre of anime for mature audiences. They usually have, like, fucking adult male leads, and, um, they cover way more mature stories and topics than you'd find in a regular type of anime, because they're meant for adults. They're not, like, they're not, like, shonen and stuff, even though some of them are, you know, like, you, you know what I'm talking about, like, Fist of the North Star, Saki Gake, Otoko Juku, and, um, Berserk, you know, those are the big three, um, you know, Jojo, and, you know, like, it's a whole subgenre, and Gogo 13 is one of the most important parts of that subgenre, because if it wasn't for him, the subgenre very well may not exist, like, gritty manga existed before Golgo, you know, like, you had Devilman, Devilman's, like, way more violent than Golgo, well, that, that depends, but, you know, you had stuff like that, but back in the day, like, adults weren't rocking with that, they thought it was for kids, and because of that, anime had, like, this really stag, childish stigma, like, Oh, you can't like this. This is literally for kids, even though there were mature topics and stuff. And then Gogo came and it changed all of that. So in many regards, it's um it's really important because if it wasn't for Gogo, scene in manga, anime, whatever you want to call it, very likely wouldn't exist or be anywhere near as successful as it is. 
And that's all thanks to Psycho. It's all thanks to him. Like, it just sucks, man. Like, oh, that's also a really good video, too. What? When was that up? 2018. Wow. Holy shit. But yeah, man. Um, Go Go was like one of the first underrated big boy series I ever experienced. You know, like before Go Go, all I knew about like scene in anime, whatever you want to call it, was like, oh, there's Fist of the North Star, there's Sake Gake, and that's it. You know, I only knew like that that and berserk and that was just it i was literally like a normie when it came to the uh manime field and then my friend a guy i used to talk to he was like oh dude if you if you like fist of the north star you should uh really check out this anime called go go 13 it's uh it's really cool you know and i, I gave it a chance and i really liked it and then I um I watched a few videos on it and I learned how important it was and it just it just gave me a whole new outlook on underrated anime like you know like I knew there were underrated anime out there but I didn't know there were any that were just like you know like groundbreaking trend setting experiences and it's um it's sad to see see it in like this. But you know, as sad as it is that Takao didn't get to finish his um they didn't get to finish Gogo, at least he died being able to live a long life doing what he loved, making such a successful franchise. Like Gogo literally spans decades upon decades it's literally like half a century old like um um it, it, i think it's i might be wrong but i think it's literally the only anime that actually outpaces one piece that's right this anime is literally so long that it's it has more content than one piece and um it's just, um, it's sad to see it in like this, and, um, but that's, that's, that's amazing how you can just work on something you love so passionately for literal decades on end, and just keep at it, just keep at it, until it becomes just so important, so, I don't know how to describe it, but, to work on something with that much passion, that much love, that deserves literally all of my respect. I I give Saito all of my respect for working on something like GoGo -Go for decades. We're not talking like 10, 20 years. We're talking like over half a century, dude. 52 years. Well, no, 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 no. 19, 20, 21. 53 years writing this story with this badass character and it's ne it never got old and it's just it's amazing to me it's amazing cuz like i said gogo's literally one of the most badass anime protagonists i've ever seen like dude you you just got to see for yourself man i i can't even describe this how cool this guy is, and, um, the shit he does, like, dude, dude, like, you know, like, the trick shots at City Hunter were, like, Rio, like, look, 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 look. Uh, it, it didn't show, but, you know, like, the trick shots at City Hunter were, like, Rio's in this hopeless situation, then he just whips out his gun and makes, like, this miracle one in a million shot and kills the bad guy, Dude, Gogo -Go makes that look like a joke. Gogo -Go literally, like, invented that. Like, nobody tops bet anime badassery the way that Gogo -Go does. Like, this dude's the coolest anime gunman you'll ever see. And with these gifts I'm showing, I also just want to say this real quick. Um, the, um, the 80s anime movie, the 80s anime film, 
the GoGo 13, the professional, is literally like one of the most. It's literally one of the best animated films ever made, dude. Like, I'm not even kidding. That shit looks better than Akira. You know, like, it, it looks amazing, dude. It's mesmerizing how good it looks. How it was worked on so many decades ago, and how it's just. It, it's just beautiful. Like, dude, there's just so much fucking. There, there's just so much to love about GoGo. You know, it's not like, it's not the best written manga in the world. It's not the, you know, the most, the most critically acclaimed thing in the world. But for what it was, GoGo 13 was a fucking awesome franchise. And Duke Tago was just such a complex, well-written, badass character. And, you know, as someone who's been a longtime fan, I just, I just respect it with all my heart, just, I really do mean that, like, if you have the ability to work on something for 53 years, and never get tired of it, and just find ways to make it cooler, and cooler, and cooler, you, you deserve a lot of respect, you know, without GoGo, we, we wouldn't have, like, a lot Violence and manga probably wouldn't be anywhere near as cool or graphic as it is. And it's just it's just sad that it has to end this way, but it is what it is. At least at the very least the mangaka lived a happy life. Hopefully he was credited for his work. Hopefully he got the uh credit he deserved in the East. And hopefully he um you know he he had a long, successful life, and he got paid well for what he brought into the world of anime. You know, th this anime is just fucking awesome, dude. I have no other way to describe it. Like, if you want to get into it, you don't have to, like... I'd really suggest watching the 80s anime film Go Go 13 The Professional. Like I said earlier, it's literally like one of the best animated films ever made. It, it looks so good. It, it's just mesmerizing. It, it's just beautiful. I, I have no other words for it. It's just beautiful. And, um... Also, um... There's also like a, a mini-series from the early 2000s. I think it's really short, and it's cool too. And, you know, there's, like, a lot of out-of-context YouTube clips if you want to see, like, it, what, what it's like for you. And you can also uh, read the manga and see the uh, manga's original intentions and stuff. Uh, yeah, rest in peace, Takao Saito. Thank you for making such a cool-ass anime, such an influential series that just changed the world of anime in so many ways thank you for what you brought into the world because it, like i said earlier if it wasn't for go go anime just wouldn't be anywhere near as cool as it is and yeah it's it's not all thanks to mr saito but he deserves some credit man go go is a it's just, it's just a cool-ass show, and it's really sad that things had to end this way, but hopefully he's in a better place. Hopefully he's resting in heaven, living a great afterlife, and just, I, I just hope he's doing good up there, man. Rest easy, Mr. Saito, and thank you. Thank you for making such a awesome series franchise thank you so much